Beneath the surface of Geneva, under the Earth's crust, lies a monument to human creativity and a potential signal of catastrophe, the Colossal Hadron Collider. This sophisticated tool allows scientists to explore the subatomic realm and aids in the quest to uncover the elusive God Particle. Recently, renowned physicist Brian Cox made an astonishing declaration that sent waves through the scientific world. A surprising discovery at CERN could have implications that far exceed our current comprehension. Have we set ourselves on a 32 seconds collision course with disaster in our pursuit of understanding? Join us as we unravel this perplexing enigma. But before we explore the details of this breakthrough, let's first grasp the concept of a particle accelerator. The Large Hadron Collider, LHC, operated by CERN, is a 17-mile ring of superconducting magnets and the most powerful particle accelerator in the world. It stands as the apex of human scientific accomplishment, capable of recreating the conditions at the birth of the universe. Yet as this device endeavors to unveil, one minute and eight seconds, the secrets of the cosmos, we must be mindful of the unforeseen consequences that could arise. Established in 1954, CERN is one of the globe's leading research institutions, comprising 23 member countries and a vast network of experts. It is a center of collaboration and innovation. The LHC is CERN's flagship project, but it is only part of a vast system of accelerators. This race to decode the universe's fundamental particles is like an orchestration of subatomic interactions. The LHC propels protons to speeds approaching that of 1 minute and 43 seconds. Light, inducing collisions that mirror the energy levels of the Big Bang. These crashes generate temperatures millions of times hotter than the core of the Sun. A complex system of magnets directs the protons on their trajectory, while advanced cooling mechanisms maintain temperatures lower than those found in outer space. The system includes 1,232 dipole magnets that bend the beams and 392 quadrupole magnets that focus the beams before impact. Additional magnets compress the particles, increasing the probability of collisions. 2 minutes and 18 seconds. CERN's mission demands extraordinary accuracy, similar to the precision required to make two needles collide from a distance of just 6 micrometers. The required precision is staggering. The technological advancements are unmatched. The LHC's design is an engineering feat featuring two parallel beam lines situated 574 feet below ground, shielded from environmental radiation. The entire system functions at an extremely cold minus 456 degrees Fahrenheit, colder than the vacuum of space, which is essential for the superconducting magnets to operate. 2 minutes and 54 seconds. Collisions in the LHC occur at four specified points around the ring, corresponding to four particle detectors, ATLAS, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB. Each detector has a unique role in probing different aspects of particle physics. Together, they serve as enormous cameras, capturing images of these collisions. Researchers then analyze the data, seeking the elusive Higgs boson, also known as the God particle, a vital element in the universe's structure. It's akin to assembling a cosmic puzzle with unknown pieces and an obscure image. Exploring. 3 minutes and 31 seconds. The microcosm offers insights into the nature of the universe. Yet each answer brings new questions, and every discovery leads to more challenges. The LHC is not just a scientific apparatus. It is a tribute to human creativity, advancement, and ambition. It embodies our collective pursuit of understanding and our desire to comprehend the basic forces that shape our universe. However, as we extend the limits of our knowledge, we must also confront the ethical and existential questions that emerge. What are the 4 minutes and 4 seconds? Dangers of venturing into the unknown? Could our quest for knowledge unintentionally release uncontrollable forces? Within the hallowed halls of CERN, where the frontiers of human understanding are continuously expanded, a discovery has surfaced that has disturbed even the most seasoned scientists. Brian Cox, a former CERN scientist and a prominent figure in particle physics, recently made a statement that has both intrigued and alarmed the scientific community. Cox's remarks point to a chilling possibility. 4 minutes and 34 seconds. The goal of CERN's Large Hadron Collider is to replicate a miniature Big Bang. Yes, you heard that correctly, a scaled-down version of the event that birthed our universe. Cox also emphasized the potential consequences of this goal, highlighting the LHC's extraordinary potential for groundbreaking discoveries. 
This includes its ability to reveal the secrets of the Higgs boson and explore dark matter, which constitutes a substantial portion of the universe. The opportunity to glimpse the true nature of the cosmos is immense, yet fraught. Five minutes and seven seconds. With peril. The miniature Big Bang is not merely a theoretical idea, it is a tangible reality within the LHC. The temperatures, pressures, and immense energy levels mimic the conditions of the universe's earliest moments. It is like witnessing the dawn of time. But such power carries significant responsibility and the possibility of catastrophe. Imagine a situation where something goes terribly wrong. In 1978, Russian physicist Anatoly Bugorsky experienced an accident that dramatically altered his life. Well, 5 minutes and 41 seconds. Working on the U-70 synchrotron at the Institute for High Energy Physics in Protvino, Russia, a malfunction caused a proton beam to strike his head. The beam, moving at an unfathomable speed, passed through his skull, entering the back of his head and exiting through his nose. Bugorsky saw a flash brighter than a thousand suns, but felt no pain. The beam left a trail of devastation, burning tissue and bone, yet he remained conscious and even walked to the hospital for treatment. The aftermath was both horrifying and fascinating. The beam, 6 minutes and 15 seconds, caused localized tissue damage, resulting in partial facial paralysis and hearing loss in one ear. Remarkably, Bugorsky's intellectual capacity remained unaffected, and he continued his scientific work. This incident is not only a personal tragedy but a cautionary tale that underscores the immense power and potential danger of particle accelerators. The risks associated with a device like the LHC should not be underestimated. The possibility of unforeseen reactions and manipulation of the fabric of reality are genuine. 6 minutes and 48 seconds. Concerns. The universe's secrets are not mere curiosities. They are fundamental units of energy. One of the most concerning possibilities tied to the LHC's experiments is the creation of miniature black holes. Black holes are regions of space-time with such intense gravitational pull that even light cannot escape. They are the universe's vacuum cleaners, devourers of stars and mysterious entities lurking in the dark. The idea that the LHC could create such entities, even on a small scale, is worrisome to both lay people and experts. Could happen in the LHC. In the realm of quantum physics, where the laws of the universe are strange and extraordinary, there is a theory suggesting that hidden dimensions may exist within our reality. If these 8 minutes and 26 seconds dimensions are real, the LHC's collisions could tap into them, creating a gravitational well that forms a microscopic black hole. This unsettling dance of possibility and reality has captured the attention of eminent scientists. The late Stephen Hawking, in his book, warned of a scenario where the Higgs boson could become unstable at extremely high energy levels. This instability could potentially trigger a catastrophic vacuum decay, a cosmic event that would not only destroy Earth but the entire universe. The Distinguished 8 minutes and 58 seconds British cosmologist and astrophysicist Sir Martin Rees also expressed concerns about experiments carried out at CERN. In his book, he examined the potential dangers of particle collider experiments, including those at CERN. His words were imbued with a sense of existential fear. He discussed the possible outcome where a poorly conducted experiment could initiate a process known as vacuum instability. This instability could theoretically set off a phase transition that would ripple through space-time, potentially annihilating the entire 9 minutes and 31 seconds. Universe. These concerns are not confined to theoretical musings. Rees devoted considerable attention to these extreme scenarios, albeit with low probability. However, even a small chance, he argued, should cause us to pause. The stakes are astronomically high, and the margin for error is razor thin. The scientists at CERN have rigorously assessed the potential risks associated with their experiments and have implemented numerous safety protocols to reduce any possible threats. However, scientific exploration inherently involves a degree. 10 minutes and 5 seconds of uncertainty, particularly when venturing into uncharted territory. The pursuit of knowledge has always carried risk. Throughout history, scientific breakthroughs have often come with unforeseen consequences. Yet it is this very willingness to push boundaries that has driven humanity forward. The LHC represents the culmination of decades of scientific progress and embodies humanity's insatiable curiosity about the cosmos. However, 
the potential hazards posed by experiments at the LHC cannot be dismissed. While the chances of 10 minutes and 39 seconds catastrophic events may be low, the consequences could be monumental. Therefore, it is vital for scientists, policymakers, and the public to engage in open discussions about the ethical and safety implications of such research. In conclusion, the Large Hadron Collider at CERN is a marvel of human ingenuity and scientific achievement. It provides unprecedented insights into the fundamental nature of the universe. However, with great power comes great responsibility. It is crucial to approach this groundbreaking research with 11 minutes and 12 seconds. Caution and an awareness of the potential risks involved. As we continue to uncover the universe's secrets, we must remain vigilant and conscious of the potential dangers, ensuring that our pursuit of knowledge does not come at the cost of our safety and well-being. As we delve deeper into the complexities of the Hadron Collider at CERN and the scientific endeavors it represents, it becomes ever more apparent that the pursuit of knowledge is fraught with both peril and uncertainty. The Hadron Collider, with its extraordinary 11 minutes and 42 seconds, potential for groundbreaking discoveries, stands as a monument to human brilliance and the relentless pursuit of understanding the fundamental principles of the universe. Yet beneath its captivating exterior lies a world of significant scientific inquiry, laden with potential dangers and moral dilemmas. The experiments conducted within the collider's vast infrastructure harness energies and forces beyond the comprehension of most people. The collision of subatomic particles at nearly the speed of light, 12 minutes and 11 seconds, creates conditions similar to those present in the universe's earliest moments, allowing scientists to probe the very building blocks of matter and the fabric of space-time itself. Yet the immense energies involved in these collisions also present considerable risks, both known and unknown. Among the theoretical risks, some physicists have speculated about the possibility of creating strangelets, hypothetical particles composed of strange quarks. In theory, if a stable strangelet were to be created within the LHC, it could begin converting ordinary matter into more strange matter, triggering a catastrophic chain reaction. While current models suggest this scenario is highly unlikely, the mere existence of such hypotheses reminds us that the frontier of knowledge often comes with unforeseen shadows. 13 minutes and 12 seconds. The ethical dimension of high-energy particle experiments cannot be ignored. What responsibilities do scientists have when probing the boundaries of existence? Should the pursuit of knowledge ever be restrained by fear? These questions are more pressing now than ever before. With advancements in quantum field theory, supersymmetry, and multiverse hypotheses, we're no longer just peering into the void, we're actively manipulating its threads. 13 minutes and 42 seconds. The LHC's role in possibly unlocking extra dimensions, as predicted by string theory, adds another layer of intrigue and caution. If our universe is but one of many in a vast multiverse, then each collision at CERN might momentarily open windows to parallel realities, even if only for fractions of a second. This notion, once confined to science fiction, now sits uncomfortably close to the realm of possibility. What if these fleeting rifts, however minuscule, have long-term consequences we have yet to comprehend? 14 minutes and 13 seconds. Despite these daunting possibilities, the spirit of exploration persists. For every theoretical doomsday scenario, there exists an equal if not greater promise of discovery. The Higgs boson itself, once purely theoretical, was confirmed by the LHC in 2012, revolutionizing our understanding of mass and quantum fields. Ongoing experiments aim to shed light on dark matter, which accounts for over 80% of the universe's mass yet remains entirely invisible and elusive. 14 minutes and 44 seconds. Still, as the boundaries of our understanding stretch ever outward, there is a growing chorus urging caution, not out of fear, but out of reverence for the unknown. Brian Cox's warning was not a cry of alarm but a reminder of responsibility. As he put it, the more we learn, the more fragile reality appears. It is not just about what we can do, but what we should do. 15 minutes and 16 seconds. Perhaps the true legacy of the Large Hadron Collider will not be in the particles it smashes together, but in the philosophical and ethical questions it forces us to confront. As we push further into the heart of the cosmos, we must decide not just how far we can go, but why we go at all. 